A jury awarded $61 million to two federal ex-ground drivers of Lebanese descent who said the manager harassed them with racial slurs for two years. And, and, and how is that worth $61 million? Is that what you just said? Yeah, $61 million. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, in the discrimination lawsuit, they said they were called terrorists, oh, camel jockeys, please. and other epithets. Oh, yeah. Red X Ground, the Pittsburgh Trucking Drive, Division of X, Plans to Appeal. They probably, yeah, they probably get appealed. knocked down and appeal, but $61 million. You know, if they didn't like it, they wanted to cry and moan and and get the guy fired for saying it. Why should FedEx lose millions and millions and millions of dollars? Why do I now have to pay, uh, uh, you know, three times as much to mail a stupid CD to somebody just because uh, your, your lawyer is so brilliant and the, the dummies that sit on the on the stupid jury just sit there and go, stick it to the man, stick it to the man, give him a billion dollars. Oh, your little feelings hurt. Jesus. We, yeah, we didn't have that crap. Back uh, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, you sat there and you went, oh, wow, the guy goofed on me. Mm. Hmm. And you either quit the job or you kept the job. You know, well, how, how, how suddenly throwing just countless millions at everything make anything better? Ridiculous. I don't know. How long did they sit there and, and take it? How many years did they sit and take two it? Two years. For two years? Yeah. Now so they didn't mind get, making a decent salary there, and now they're going to get, what, now, $61 million, and yeah, somebody called him a camel jockey? Get, yeah, they'll get $30.5 million. Oh, please. please. Gee. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Don't think that doesn't affect any of you out there. Yeah. When you when you want to, like, uh, oh, yeah, you know, gonna have a uh, have that sent uh, Christmas time, I'll send uh, Aunt Claire a gift. Uh, send her the gift out there. Aunt Claire in Georgia, send her that gift. Yeah, the gift was eight dollars. The shipping was eleven. You know what I mean? Because they had to give sixty-one million because somebody got called a camel jockey. Yeah. BFD, get over it. It's not a bad thing if you drive camels. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, is there anything wrong with that? Yeah. I suppose. Well, they really did uh, yeah. ride camels. And they were planning a terrorist attack. These jurors just like think that money comes from nowhere. I hope that uh, an ironic, evil, poetic. Twist. That seems a little excessive. The juror now can't send anything. I hope that one of the jurors that awarded that owns a business that uses FedEx and goes, wow, my shipping just doubled. Right. Hey, I'm not making any money now. Hey, I beat myself. You have to pay $61 million. You have to make the $61 million million. up. uh, So you're going to have to pay a little bit more in your FedEx. You've gone nuts. (laughs) Gone nuts as a society. I know. It's, it's, It's unbelievable. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. I mean, it's a, like this whole system with like suing over stuff. Like, look, here's here's a legitimate lawsuit. Okay, right. I'm going to give you a legitimate lawsuit. Right. I'm going to teach everybody something. All right, say I have arm cancer. I don't even know if there is such a thing, mm-hmm. but I have arm cancer, yeah. and I go to my doctor. My doctor says you have arm cancer in your left arm. It's going to spread to your heart unless we amputate your left arm. I go, Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I get ten opinions. Not a second opinion. I get ten opinions. Mm-hmm. Everybody goes, yeah, you have arm cancer. Mm-hmm. It's very rare. I'm like, all right. So I'm going to get a hospital and have my left arm removed. I wake up after the surgery. I look down. I'm like, oh, my God, maybe they changed their mind. My left arm's still there. I look to the right, and my right arm's gone. Right. <laughs> That's worth suing over. You're right. <laughs> okay? That's negligence. That's really a burden on somebody's life. And now, now they still got to get the left one removed. So you're walking around with no left, no right. And they right. blatantly screwed up and removed the right. That's negligence, and you deserve to get cashed. Okay, other than that, a lot of stuff needs to be rethought out, whether it's negligent. Hey, you camel jockey, <laughs> why is that worth $61 million? Why don't you just go, no, I'm not a camel jockey. Please don't call me that. Please don't call me that. I'm going to punch you in the nose. How about that? Mm. Okay. Please don't well, call know, me that, or I'm going to quit and go get another job. How means, about that as a solution? Why that, 61 million? If it means anything, it's Oakland, California. Oh, they're real liberal out there. Yeah, liberal. We've Seriously, gone nuts. Liberal. Why? We have gone yeah, nuts. Yeah, that's a little too much. You know, I can understand if, you know, if they're harassed a lot, maybe a few hundred thousand dollars. No, 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 Jesse. So you're you're buying into it. You're saying no, a few hundred thousand dollars. Well, I mean, if, if that's they're too real, much. If they're really uh, no, because money doesn't solve anything like that. Why don't? Well, how do you get these guys to, uh, if somebody's really harassing somebody? Yeah, yeah you fire the slurs. boss. Fire the boss. Whoever's the person saying the names, go, look. Oh, I yeah, that's the first thing you well, do. Well, that, that's, yeah. that's the first, and that's the last. The manager. 
That's the first and the, that's the last. I don't know why the company should ne- not be sued for what the manager does. Exactly. Unless they knew, you know, they, they, were they involved fired, in it. Just fire the guy who's calling them the, the uh, evil, rotten names, mm-hmm. and then that's it. No money for them. They, they don't need a penny. They weren't harmed in any way that deserves money. Mm-hmm. In zero way. This We're like little friggin' kids now. I'm going to sue. <laughs> it's like the I'm going to tell mom yeah. of, the, of the 90s and the 2000s is I'm going to sue. The threatening of suits. that You threaten, and then you get what you want through threats. You're terrorists. You're being a terrorist when you're suing. When you threaten, uh, if I don't get my way, I'm going to sue for hundreds of thousands, for millions of dollars. You're nothing more than a baby friggin' terrorist. Yeah. I'm going to tell mom, I'm going to take all your money. It's ridiculous. You're a bunch of big... Oh, my God, I just came so close to cursing. A bunch of big effing uh, uh, babies. F you. I guys want to say that the... the the head of the jury, uh, Abdi- Abdul Karim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Jay. You can be sued. You be sued. No, I don't know who's You'll be sued, the jury. Jay. You'll be sued. <laughs> it, it, that, that's like the I'm going to tell my mom of the of, of adults now. But mm-hmm. that's another way of saying I'm going to tell my lawyer. I'm going to tell my lawyer what you said. I'm going to tell my lawyer. I'm going to hit you in the pocketbook. It's just ridiculous. Just you know, approach the situation and sob it on your own through talking. And just throw sixty-one million dollars at it. Now I gotta if I want to send a CD out to to a to to a friend to go. Hey, listen to our show. Yeah, you moved out to Indiana. Here's a CD of our show. It's a twenty-five cent Maxell CD. It cost me forty-three dollars to send it to you, so I can pay for the for the, the G damn uh, uh, over over settlement of a of a stupid case. Bunch of babies. I am. So, oh, I hate hearing. I'll sue. I hate hearing. I'll threaten to sue. I hate hearing. I'll sue. You could sue. She could sue. He could sue. We could sue. Everyone could sue. Why'd you name your kids Sue? Everybody with their <laughs> lawsuit. Hi, I'm a boy named know, Sue. Yeah. <laughs> sue. 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 So, sue. Sue yeah, you. The art to me lawsuit is ridiculous. It's, uh, ruins. Uh, you know, we, we got. There's a lawyer for every person on the planet now. Yeah, there yeah. used to be a time when you had a couple of lawyers, you had a, a bunch of doctors, you had a zillion plumbers, and you had a zillion carpenters, and everybody worked for a living. Well, I once heard that three-quarters of the world's lawyers are in the United States. You're absolutely right, Jay. <laughs> and there's got to be a reason for that. Oh, so we can so we can dream up giving $61 million for somebody that got a little bit harassed who happens to look Middle Eastern right after 9-11. Oh, wow. Do you think, why don't we go back in time then and get every Asian person a bunch of money back in 1943? You think it was comfortable to be an Asian descent, a Japanese person, or a Chinese person in the United States after after Pearl Harbor? You think then? No, we didn't have a lawsuit happy nation. Somebody didn't sit there and say a derogatory name to a to an a Asian person and suddenly get $61 million because mm-hmm. they, they razzed you a little bit. Do you think it was comfortable growing up being German in 1945? When when you got Hitler and you and then the United States was at war with Hitler, you think it was comfortable to be a German then? Don't you think a lot of people called you a kraut and a Nazi all day? Did you cry to your lawyer and go get sixty one million friggin' dollars? Good morning, you're on the air. Hey now, hey now. Hey, I was going to say there's too many lawyers on this planet. There, you're right. You got you got to like. Why can't Bush do something like no more law schools? There you go. You know what I mean? Sure. And it'll come right after the war with Canadians. Yeah. It's ridiculous. We're at a war with lawyers. <laughs> I mean, somebody, somebody cuts their freaking finger on a piece of paper, Yeah. and they're suing. Sue the paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sue the building you man. stood in when you did it. You didn't you, see me run out and become a lawyer, did yeah. you? You slip and fall on, a, uh, on, on someone's sidewalk because your own stupidity and lack of being able to walk, and you sue the person who owns the building that has the sidewalk. For shame. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous, man. Yeah, it is ridiculous. You, like, it is you won't be able to take a breath of air. That's right. Without getting sued. Yeah. Freaking ridiculous. And a few years okay. back, a few thank years, you. A few years back, a, a, a woman uh, sued because she lost her psychic psychic ability when uh, she got hurt or anything. Oh, don't reason. bring up Celeste Matia. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hitler should have gone <laughs> after the Hitler should have gone after the lawyers instead of the Jews. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thank Goodbye. You. Thank you. Shock caller. All right, there you go. And then the buzz is in my head. I'm suing the person that made this buzz in my head now. Who's doing it? Who's responsible? Who can I sue? Where do I get my money? God, I wish I knew what caused that. The most frustrating part is I can't. I don't know what causes the buzz. But I just got to sit and listen to it. <laughs> okay. The whole time, nonstop. Ugh. Ugh. It's the worst sound. Ugh. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hear in the background. Yeah, you hear in the you, background. You don't know yeah. what causes it. You're right. No, I don't, I don't know. know. It just kicks we, we in have, out of nowhere. We're going to have to get, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it won't do it. when you, Are you going to pay the engineer to sit here for a month? Because it hasn't happened for like a week. You're right. You can sit there with headphones on, <laughs> waiting. Yeah, just right. wait here. You're worth $60 an hour. Yeah, periodic problems. <laughs> it, it's terrible. Awful. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Awful. All right, six ten six nine two three one three one six ten six nine two thirty one thirty one sixty one million dollars. People are going nuts. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, maybe it's time for professional. Well, you know what will happen when, when appeals will be knocked down to uh, a lot, but I don't know if they'll be removed. Well, maybe it's time to because change uh, her. That's just so outlandish. Sixty one million dollars, and there's there's probably because the jury is, comes from California, and they're in the most liberal area in, in California, so they just want to get Look. back at, at, at a big uh, um, uh, corporation. I think it's time to have professional jurors. I would not be against that. I mean, let, let's let's look at let's analyze this. Unless like, mm-hmm. or maybe just juries should be of retired people that volunteer that want to serve on juries. They want to. They enjoy yeah. it. And then and let's do a full scale investigation. Make sure they're intelligent. Mm-hmm. Make sure you know that, that that they haven't been on juries that have awarded insane settlements for nonsense. And just let them be in a pool that gets to do it, you know, like once a month. Hey, I'm a juror again. Because I want to. Because I'm intelligent. And because I make responsible decisions. Instead of having a jury pool, I mean, you know, th- what job can you, like, just leave for a month and they don't really miss you. They'll <laughs> hire you when you come back. And, you know, I mean, have, what job? How important are you if you can take a month off of work? Seriously. How important are you? Yeah, it's, it's and, not just that. It's uh, can you even afford to miss that work? Yeah. Uh, can you afford? You know, I can't afford. I couldn't no. afford to miss. I that can't much miss time. one day here. Yeah. And you know how many days I've taken off since I've been here? None. Yeah. None. There you go. All right. Ridiculous. I up there here with society, in your liberal ways. <laughs> I don't actually, I don't even mind your liberal ways until you make stupid decisions like that. To like just let any old slob sit there on a jury. Stick it to the man, yeah, give him sixty one million. FedEx. I'm fed up. Uh, it's not like you're getting the money you told. What are you sitting there cheering him on for? So 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 what? A Middle Eastern person. We are in a time of uh, you know, you got your president telling you either you're with us or you're against us. And you're at a job and you sit there and you said you called somebody a name. Wah 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 wah. You, you know, fire it? the name caller, but don't don't just charge the company that owns it that was good enough to hire you. Then suddenly you're entitled to sixty one million dollars for being called a camel jockey and a terrorist. You know what? I think uh, out of uh, the, the feeling of fairness and mm. and everything else, I think that guy is probably going to settle for uh, a mere thirty one million. Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> see, no, but they they've beaten us into it to to the point where Jay is a college graduate. Jay started going, "Yeah, I can see three hundred thousand. What? <laughs> no, no, no." Jay, do you have three hundred thousand for me? Because I'm going to see you because of this buzz in my head. <laughs> I'm not asking. All right, Jay, do you have sixty-one million because of the buzz in my head? Uh, no. All right, then, then three hundred thousand is reasonable. No, it's the buzz in my head. No. Okay, Jay, I wouldn't charge you a dollar for uh, it. You know what? I'm going to sue you for a penny for it. But three, there's a buzz in my head. Three dollars is reasonable. All right, you got three dollars. <laughs> yeah, I got I three doubt dollars. It. I'll give you three dollars. <laughs> you, you, you'll talk me into taking it out in the videotape. <laughs> what am I, yeah. the window washing yeah, guy. Yeah, one three. You got your title on with the video. Tape. Three dollars <laughs> and five movies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's stupid. Uh, uh, I can't believe I can't find the story about the guy driving around in his Jeep Cherokee. With his, uh, with his his severed body parts in his car, mm. <laughs> I can't find that one. Jay finds a sixty one million dollar uh, thing. Actually, that was a good job, Jay. Look at Jay producing. Yeah, good job. No, I thought you would get upset about that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Here's well, I see no- an article you're going to get upset about. You bring it up. I'll it's bring good it radio. up. It's yeah. good radio. People sit there glued to their stupid radios. Mm-hmm. I like Randy. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Here's if I may quote from the papers. <laughs> yeah. I like Randy. He gets yeah. upset at the right time. That's right. Yeah. The show's getting a little slow. You bring that story up. Mm-hmm. You know, Jay, just keep that paper and bring it up like a three months from now. I'll forget about it. <laughs> right. You can catch me on a hungover day. Again? <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, with these cowboy jockeys at night? <laughs> Too many lawyers that they cut off my right leg. So I have leg cancer. Seriously, we got to need to re-evaluate, re- reevaluate like, these nonsense lawsuits. The example I gave is about the only decent reason to ever sue. That's that's called utter like you know you slip and fall on somebody's sidewalk because you, because you, you're not couth. Why should the person on the sidewalk owe you money? Yeah, that's the thing that bothers me. How I many think. sidewalks did you walk down without slipping? 